not actually the shoes we're reviewing. We're reviewing these. They're much more used and destroyed. Dirty. Let's do it. Today, I'm going to review, not, not really review, share my thoughts about the Shimano, the Shimano XC5 shoe. Uh, sometimes when I watch reviews, sometimes they, they, they just get the product and talk about it and they've never used it yet and then it doesn't, it's not very helpful. And then now that we're in quarantine and I can't really go out to ride, I still want to try shooting video so I decided to write, I'll uh, share my thoughts on my shoes. First of all, a little history of my cycling shoes. This is my second pair of cycling shoes. Uh, the first pair I got was like the cheapest thing that I could find and don't make the same mistake I did It was horrible like as soon as I put it on stepped on a hard surface a piece of the rubber came out That's my old pair of shoes So I, I used that cheap thing for a few months and eventually it just fell apart So I decided I wanted something good. So of course Shimano is a good brand and after researching online I decided I wanted something with laces. It's just because that laces look look like regular shoes. They don't look like you know weird cycling shoes. So back then I wanted something that I could wear because I was doing a lot of commuting and I was thinking I would event I'd probably use these for commuting as well. And I was kinda worried about looking, you know, like a superhero. Now I have the whole thing, we're wearing like tight shorts and a tight t-shirt and you know, what, what can you do? That's what I look like when I'm cycling. So now I'm not too worried about it, but I like the, I like the laces. Okay, now let's get to why I bought these shoes. Uh, I bought them in March 2019, I've been using them for over a year. I chose the MTB instead of the road shoes, I chose like MTB so you can see the, the clips are uh, Crank Brothers clips, that just so happens to be the pedals that I have. Um, I chose MTB shoes because I wanted to be able to walk around so prior to buying cycling shoes I was already doing some you know adventuring and I realized that I was going to be walking around quite a bit when you do gravel riding you're doing a lot of walking a lot of pushing the bike up a steep rocky hill and uh, that's why these little rubber things are useful Usually you see pictures of them in orange laces and you know orange is hard to hard to mix and match with your cycling outfit. So fortunately the box came with gray laces and I switched it up to the gray ones. And also there's a strappy thing that holds the laces in place. I'm not a fan of how it looks. Like I don't like how they put the laces that way, but I do notice that if I don't use the strappy thing, the laces come out quite Easily, so I tend to use them especially when I'm riding. You don't want to be in the middle of a ride and then the laces start flapping about. I've been walking all over these things. They are worn out quite a bit. But uh, aside from some chipping over here, they're still okay. And then this one, like the, the Michelin sign is all gone. So I use my left, I use my left foot on the on the pedal sometimes I unclip it and then I put the pedal here so there's a lot of rubbing here so as you can see it's gone but overall after a year of use not bad not bad um, as you can see they're quite dirty I hardly ever wash them I usually go on a ride and they get off my feet and I don't touch them much there's even there's scratches here but so far not bad so as you can see I've uh, I've used and abused them. And there's vents here. Uh, I don't ever feel like my feet are hot. I don't get a hot foot. It doesn't feel like it's extra cool. But of course you can see with these vents it's not waterproof. I've drenched these shoes so many times. And they're still fine. These, these shoes were surprisingly difficult to find. To like buy and purchase. I remember when I was trying to buy them, I found somebody was selling but they didn't have the gray ones. They come. These also come in like other colors. Like there's a funky greenish color that I did not want to get. I want to get something understated. So a quick hack: if you're looking for stuff online, like to buy, and you have the specific model, you know exactly what it is. 
Aside from Google, you could try searching on Facebook. So literally, literally go to the Facebook search uh, space. Shim I just put Shimano XC5 and then you could see all of these old posts of people posting about the shoes and some online shops posted about the shoes that they were selling. So I got this from Bike Parts PH. I'll link their Facebook page somewhere here. So uh, I, I talked a little bit about the shoe, my experience with them. Do I like the shoe? Yes, I do like the shoe. Um, what's my basis of liking it? I don't really have a basis of comparison except for that crappy pair of shoes that I had a long time ago. But I like it. Would I get it again when if these break? I would, but I wouldn't mind trying out different shoes. There's a Giro Giro. I don't know how to pronounce that brand. There's a Giro Giro shoe that looks pretty cool. That are laces also. Uh, there's a new Shimano gravel shoe. I believe it's the RX8. It's kind of flashy and it uses the boa thing, so I'm not too sold on it. I, I like the laces. From a simplicity point of view and from a repair point of view, I do enjoy that. I like the laces a lot more. Uh, is it stiff enough? I guess. It's... I, I, I use it. It's fine. I like it. Is it light enough? Honestly, weight... Weight doesn't really matter to me. I mean, I'd, I'd rather just not eat like a bag of chips to save weight as opposed to spending a lot more on stuff that weigh a lot. I suspect this weighs more than your average mountain bike or road road shoe that's for sure but that doesn't matter and uh, it's a shoe it's a shoe it's a cycling shoe that works I like it and I can't wait to start using it again on real gravel rides especially when this whole pandemic blows over so that's it that's my those are my thoughts on the Shimano XC5 if you want to hear more reviews, say something in the comments. Hey, YouTube. Um, yeah. All right. See ya.